why I'm here. Hey everybody, this is Silicon Steve Valley, and we're going to be giving you updates. Here's one from Anthony Ravello right now. Hey, what's going on, guys? I got some oxygen, and uh, I just got back from a hospital. I had a my heart rate went up to 185. And uh, apparently that's really high. So if you ran a marathon, it would be like 175. And I don't run marathons. So um, it was a little bit of a scare. Spent a couple nights in the emergency room, but uh, everything worked out, I'm back. But I got this story I gotta tell. And uh, it's just, it's a wild story. Um, so Thanksgiving, um, Aiden, my son, picks me up from the rehab center and drives me to my brother's house. And we all have Thanksgiving there. And um, it was great, but I made a deal with Aiden's mother um, that he could uh, go with her um, for dessert and stuff. He had dinner with us and he was gonna go to dessert um, with his mom. Um, so I called for a lift. I didn't want my brother driving all the way to Hackensack and and then back to Tom's River. It's an hour and a half each way. He was tired and he had to wake up the next day early. So I ordered a lift. Um, yeah, it was going to be expensive, but, you know, to see the family, screw it. I don't care. Sometimes it's just worth it. Lift driver is supposed to come. I set this up like days prior to when, uh, when I realized my brother was offering to drive me I just I wasn't into it so anyway moral of the story is God works in mysterious ways crazy so I ordered this lift a couple days prior and when I do this the lift uh, gives you like a time that they're going to be there so he's coming he's supposed to be coming at like I forgot the time. It was like 6.30 or something. 7 o'clock. Guy comes. My brother walks out there. The guy sees the wheelchair, I'm assuming, and then just drives away. Okay. Messed up, but now they redirect me to a new lift guy. Basically, says he'll be there in like 40 minutes. I'm a little pissed off because, you know, I had this lift already set up for a time and now I got to wait 40 minutes. Same thing happens. Guy comes, pulls to the curb. My brother goes out there, waves him down, sees the wheelchair, sees me in a walker, takes off. So then another guy gets assigned to me. And this guy... His name is Mufasa, um, has a good rating. Hopefully he comes. Well, not only does he stop, but gets out of the car, helps my brother with the wheelchair. Just a really nice guy. Very like all about the customer, you know? Has no problem with me in a wheelchair and, and, a, and a walker. Comes and tries to help me out, gets me in the car. The entire ride, um, he's very, um, he's having a conversation with me, which I never really took lifts before or anything or Ubers or anything like that. But I'm like, all right, he wants to talk? You know, let's start talking. So he kind of asked me what, you know, what was wrong with me. I gave him my story and um, I told him, the whole deal that I'm not going to be a statistic and I'm going to be positive and you know I'm going to be the guy who helps others and we're going to get some answers 
about this cancer and we're going to help children and um i can see him like staring at me through the rear view mirror and he's just like wow he's like you know prior to here i was um walking on the beach and i'm not going to tell you his conversation because it's personal and he confided in me and telling me something and but he was having a bad couple weeks and you know um hearing my story and how positive i was he just changed his attitude toward his issues and was just like you know you will motivate me and quite frankly he kind of motivates me too because he's just genuinely a great person not only did he do this and have this conversation with me which made me feel really good because i'm all about positive energy right now and i feed off giving people positive energy that's kind of like my my ammo you know so he helps me to my room not only does he help me into my room we exchange phone numbers find each other on instagram and um we talk almost every day now through text and he's planning on coming up visiting me bringing up some some turkish desserts so we can uh you know have some uh, awesome uh, baklava which is if you haven't had it it's phenomenal anyway we became friends and i think we needed each other and uh god works in crazy ways man those first two drivers were supposed to be because i was supposed to meet this man and um we have plans of working out together at the gym because he likes to you know he likes to common interest so now we have plans and it's always good you know my good friend ian always told me it's always good to plan for the future make plans you know make let's make plans to go to scotland because we know that we're going to get there one day um well we're making plans to go to the gym and work out together and i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be there again but uh i had to share that story and it, it just it was awesome it was a thanksgiving miracle i'm really glad i have a new friend anyway god bless everybody